Today we're working on Word Chapter 3 Portfolio Builder. So you need to have opened up WPB03A. Go ahead and save it with your initials on it to your OneDrive. And then Step 3 says insert quick part document properties for author and publish date in the header and write a line. So we're going to double click in the header. I'm going to go ahead and write a line mine. And then we're going to click insert quick parts document properties and then author and then you're going to type your name there and then you have to click right on the right edge of it to get it out of that and then hit enter and we're going to click quick click quick parts again and then document property publish date click the down arrow and select today so when I grade yours, I'm going to click in the header. I'm going to make sure that you've done author and publish date instead of just typing it in. So now go to the body of the document, and we're on step four. Apply the centered style set. So we'll click design. Centered style set is right here. And then integral theme. So click themes, and there's integral. Step five, apply the title style to the first line of text. So we're going to highlight the first line of text. Click on Home, Title. It says Center it if necessary. It should be centered if you ch chose the correct style set. And then change the paragraph spacing to 30 points before and after. So we're going to open up the paragraph dialog box. Spacing before is currently zero. I'm just going to bump that up to 30. After, bump that up to 30. Click OK. Step six, format the first paragraph in 12 point times New Roman. So let's highlight the first paragraph. Times New Roman. And then 12. And then I'm going to open up my paragraph dialog box to do the rest of the things. It says to justify it. So right here, right now, the alignment is left. So I'm going to click that and select justified. Set the line spacing to double. Right now, line spacing is multiple. We're going to change that to double. Apply first line indent of 0 0.5. So click where it says special. Select first line. And it should be at 0 0.5 already. Set paragraph spacing before and after to zero. Mine already says zero on before. I'm going to change the after to zero and then click OK. Step seven says copy the formatting from the first paragraph. So if you just click somewhere in that paragraph, doesn't matter where, and then double click Format Painter. And we're copying that to the rest of the paragraph. So click right before Career One Stop and highlight down to all of it and it automatically does that to everything and you'll need to click up oh, don't want to do that just make sure you've deselected the format painter step eight says to insert an end note after the first sentence as follows so the first sentence ends with the word earn so I'm going to click right after the word earn and I'm going to click references and then insert endnote and you can see that we're right here and we've got a long sentence to type I'm going to pause what I'm doing and type that sentence and then I'll be right back so when I finish typing it in and step 10 tells you if word automatically removes the brackets and or formats the URLs entered in steps 8 and 9 as hyperlinks need to right click the text remove the hyperlink and then retype the brackets if necessary so it did that to mine if it did it to yours if yours is green and it's a hyperlink you need to right click on it remove the hyperlink and then go back to right before the HTTP and we're going to click the bracket there and then right after HTML and do the bracket there Step nine, insert an endnote after the second paragraph as follows. So the second paragraph ends right here with career. 
We're going to click insert end note again and we're right here. This is another long sentence so I'm going to pause the recording again and then take back up when I finish. So I finished typing the assessment and, and it did this again with the URL so I need to right click on it, remove the hyperlink, I'm going to click here, I'm going to put the brackets back in. I also notice that I've got something underlined in blue here, I'm going to right click on that, I'm going to ignore this. So now we're on step 11, which says insert page numbers in the center of the footer. So I'm just going to double click in the footer. I'm going to go up to page number, bottom of page, and I'm going to select this one where it's in the center. And you'll see I have numbers in the bottom of my page in the footer. I'm going to double click outside of the footer. Step 12 says change the page margins to moderate. So I'm going to click layout. margins and then select moderate. Step 13, apply an end margin drop cap to the first paragraph customized to drop two lines. So I'm just going to click somewhere in that paragraph. I'm going to click insert, drop cap, drop cap options, end margin and we're going to change the lines to drop to two and then click OK. Step 14, apply a solid line black text one, two and a quarter point border to the top and bottom of the report title. So we're going to highlight the report title up here. We're going to click design, go to page borders. Right now it's on page border, we don't want it on that, we want to click borders. We're going to change the color to black text one, which is this one. The width needs to be two and one quarter. So select that, and then we're going to click here. we got to click there twice, click down there twice. So you'll see I have a black line at the top, black line at the bottom. Go to shading, click the fill, and we want to select teal accent 6, lighter 60%, which is right here, and then click OK. And you can click away from that. That's what your title should now look like. Step 15, enter the following document properties. So to get to document properties, we click File. Then we're going to click the down arrow on Properties and go to Advanced Properties. And we're going to insert the following title, Getting a Job Search Started. Subject is Job Search Strategies. Your name should be in the author because you set that up at the beginning. Category is job search. Keywords are the following. Job search, careers, tips, strategies, networking, and online resources and then click OK and you've now added all of those properties go back to your document step 16 says to check the word count to see if it's under 350 words you can see right down here is where you check your word count mine's 341 words step 17 says to check the spelling and grammar so click right before the beginning of the title and click review spelling and grammar it gives us an error on this career one stop. We're going to accept the spelling here and then click OK. And step 18 says print the document, which we're not going to do. We're going to save it, save our document and submit it. And that's the end of Chapter 3, Portfolio Builder.